surpassed Japan as the world's third highest solar power producer in 2023, generating 113 billion units compared to Japan. In the fiscal year 2022-23, India exported medical consumables worth $1.6 billion, exceeding imports of around $1.1 billion. The Bureau of Indian Standard has published a preliminary Indian standard for toy safety for public evaluation and input. Hello everyone, this is Priyan Shuchaudhary for SME Futures and here are the top stories for this week. India ranks fifth in the world for installed power capacity encompassing both renewable and non-renewable sources with 73 gigawatts, while Japan holds the third position with 83 gigawatts. The yearly power output for India can vary due to fluctuations in power demand and local conditions, resulting in a gap between installed capacity and actual production. According to government think tank Niti Aayog's data, as of May 2024, while solar power contributes to 18% of India's total installed electricity capacity of 442 gigawatt, it constitutes only 6.66% of the actual power output. In 2023, global solar energy generation was over six times greater than in 2015, with India experiencing a 17-fold increase. The share of solar generation in India's electricity rose from 0.5% in 2015 to 5.8% in 2023. India, known as the global supplier of generic medicines and affordable vaccines, has accomplished a significant achievement in the medical products sector. India has traditionally relied on imported medical consumables and disposables. The country has successfully shifted this pattern by exporting more than it imported, marking a significant turnaround in this trend. Currently, as high as 70% of the required medical devices are imported, with China being a major contributor. The government has categorized the medical device sector into segments such as cancer therapy, critical care, assistive devices, implants and many more. Ongoing talks aim to pinpoint key devices in each segment, study import-export trends, evaluate duty structures and analyze their effects across the supply chain. BIS serves as India's national standard body for overseeing standardization, marking and quality certification of goods. Stakeholders including in the toy industry businesses and professionals are urged by the BIS to review the draft standard and offer feedback on any anticipated implementation challenges. All reviews should be submitted by July 2, 2024. The Toys and Related Test Methods Sectional Committee followed extensive discussions, conclude that this standard would improve the usability of the standard for users. Consequently, the committee requested BIS to circulate the draft widely for a period of two months. Well, these were the top stories for this week. Keep tuning in to SME Futures every Friday for more such updates.